So the key goals of our educational experience is to create an environment where we are responsive to the world of education. We want our children to be able to think uh, and think clearly in situations where they're problem solving or collaborating as a group. We want them to utilise the skills that are needed in the workplace. Uh, we are thinking far beyond the bubble that is Hobridge uh, into senior schools, universities and obviously into the careers that the children may move into as they get older. So on a regular basis we send girls and boys to single sex schools like uh, Hampton, uh, RGS and then more into London with St Paul's and King's. Our top schools for girls are the likes of Guildford High School and St Paul's Girls, um, of which we send individuals to those schools on a, on a regular basis. And it's those types of schools that really we focus with the children on gaining those academic scholarships. And we've had great success um, with those over the past few years. So the Honours Board is a celebration of those children who have done exceptionally well in gaining scholarships at their chosen senior schools. We are very, very proud of all of the children and all of the goals that they achieve and all of the schools that they gain entry into. But this is recognition of those children who have gone a little bit further beyond and gained those scholarships, whether they be academic, music, drama, art, DT, sports. Scholarships are frequent in, in most of our regular schools, such as RGS, Hampton, St George's, uh, St John's, Reed, St Catherine's. So it is a, a badge of honour, I suppose, to, to gain that recognition in a particular area. We are very proud of all of the children uh, for all of the schools that they go to. A wide variety of day schools, boarding schools, um, in and around the area and, and further afield and we prepare them and, and give them the best possible foundations to go to those schools and, and do their very very best at GCSE, A-level and obviously then gaining entry into the top universities in the country.